Okay, here we go. So I'm making a sign today on my CNC. It's an old English bulldog. I'm actually making it for my sister. She has a love for bulldogs and she actually saw one of my signs I made for my golden retriever. So she asked me to make one for her a little smaller. This is going to be about 12 inches by 12 inches. Um, I already did a test piece. Let me show you. This is, I like the bulldog, I like the way it came out, and but the lettering I'm not too crazy about. And so what I decided to do was replace that image with actual lettering, and I think that'll give me um, better results. So I'm actually doing the bulldog in two operations. Um, I'm actually going to do a pocketing job with a 1/8 inch end mill upcut just to give me the flat bottoms of the pockets and then the second operation will be a uh, v-bit a half inch v-bit to follow um, back around to give me the um, desired profile that i'm looking for it's actually going to give a pretty cool 3d effect and then the, the same v-bit will be used for the lettering so let's kick it off It's done. All in all, it didn't come out too bad. I was trying a different technique to incorporate a clearing pass with a V groove to give that dimensional texture. It didn't come out too bad. But something happened there. Not quite sure what happened. But as a whole, it came out pretty good. And I'm really not that concerned about it because this is going to be distressed and there's going to be a, um, this is going to be filled in with a black paint and then I'm going to distress it and then a whitewash to give it that farmhouse, barnyard, weathered look. The blowout actually goes down and at an angle. So there was definitely some sort of imperfection in this plywood, a void, most likely, that caused it to blow out like that. Okay, so what I've done is I sanded this up to 220 grit, and I've already added some distress marks to it. And, you know, the, again, the overall look is going to be a sign that looks like it's been sitting outside for 15 to 20 years in the elements. Um, that farmhouse style weathered look, which is my favorite. So off camera, what I did was I applied two thin coats of shellac to the whole board. And the idea behind that is... Uh, my next in my next step, I'm going to be shooting paint into these routed areas, and I'm going to be overspraying and then sanding back. So what happens typically is you'll get some paint bleed inside the grain by doing it in that method in that fashion. So to help mitigate that, um, you want to put like a sanding sealer or a shellac or even a lacquer on it, and then and the only purpose for that is for the next step um, to paint it, and that will help prevent any paint bleed.
I put an antique oil finish on it and the, the plywood really soaked it up. So I may put another coat on, but it will dry lighter. Some of this gray dark areas will pop a little bit. All right, please subscribe and hit that like button and uh, let me know in the comments below what you think.